Welcome back 646. It was on this day 40 years ago that a lone gunman attempted to assassinate President Ronald Reagan. One man took a bullet for the president and saved his life. Tim McCarthy tells our Joni Lam how he looks back on one of the most infamous events in American political history. Tim McCarthy spent 48 years in law enforcement, but is most known for what he did in Washington on March 30th, 1981. As President Ronald Reagan walked to his limousine, John Hinckley stepped from the crowd and fired six shots. The president was pushed into the vehicle, while Secret Service agent McCarthy used his body as a shield. And if you look at the videotape of March of 81, uh, in that case, agents and police officers and civilians in the crowd actually subdued John Hinckley. And the presidential detail covered the president and evacuated him and ultimately took him to George Washington University Hospital after it was discovered that he was wounded. The president made a full recovery. McCarthy did too, and was hailed as a true American hero, a title he can't shake, but wears humbly. But it's also a part of my life and it's a part of history. So I get that part of it too, that there might even be a little bit of an obligation, so to speak, uh, from time to time to bring it back into the, uh, the public light, so to speak. I, mean, I, I was just a kid from the south side of Chicago you're never used to the type of publicity that this type of thing created. You went right back to Secret Service work and uh, law enforcement work. Why were you committed to that? Well, it's what I was trained to do a little bit, but if you like service and try and, and really want to help people, it's a great place to be. How do you feel now about the security of the president and Congress, your community? Well, it's a challenging time. There's no question about it. Um, as far as the president's concerned, the protection that the president's getting uh, is still the best protection in the world. With the introduction of metal detectors almost the day after President Reagan was shot, it is no coincidence that in that 40 years, there has not been an attack on the president by the lone gunman who was able to get close. So some good came out of it. After putting his life on the line with the Secret Service, McCarthy served as chief of the Orland Park Police, a lifetime of public safety. I wore my bulletproof vest quite a bit more uh, by directions of Mrs. McCarthy. Is uh, yes. Mrs. McCarthy in charge now? Oh, she always was. <laughs> Just ask her. <laughs> Just ask her. <laughs> always was. Uh, McCarthy and the boss are embarking on retirement now and enjoying their seven grandchildren. Joni Lum, Fox 32 News. Great reporting there, oh, yeah. Joni. Uh, for the 40th anniversary, McCarthy recorded an interview for an exhibit found inside the Reagan Presidential Library. That's out in California. Well.